If you're looking for high quality software that allows you to do product research across any selling model and it's the cheapest piece of software out there, then keep watching. Welcome back to my channel, I'm Cassandra Barney and here I love to take my two passions, teaching and e-commerce and put them together to share with you what I'm learning each and every week about Amazon and in general making money online. So this video I have been super excited to make for you guys. A couple of weeks ago I found a new piece of software and it is just so powerful, I couldn't believe it. A lot of people ask me why I choose to use which softwares. So for example, I did that tactical arbitrage video and I had some people messaging me asking me why was I using that versus like Helium 10 or Jungle Scout. And it really, for me, depended on my model. I was doing a lot of online arbitrage, so the tactical arbitrage just made sense. So if I wanted to get tactical arbitrage and Jungle Scout and Helium 10, I would be paying hundreds of dollars to have all of those subscriptions. But I found one software that is even cheaper than just one of those other ones and it does everything in one. So with this piece of software, I can do the online research for products, I can do a wholesale research for products, and I can even do a private label research for products. So let's jump into my computer so I can show you exactly what this software is and truly how amazing it is. Also, if you're someone who watches my channel because you're interested in my weekly journey, make sure that you stick around until the end because I will tell you exactly what I've been doing this week. And it has been mentally overwhelming, but so much fun. So I can't wait to share that with you guys. The secret golden nugget of softwares that I found is called Profit Guru. Now I'm not really sure why nobody else is talking about this software. When you go out and you try to look for something to do product research with, you're probably going to find Helium 10 will definitely pop up, Jungle Scout will pop up, Tactical Arbitrage, but I do not see this anywhere and it truly is all three of those things put together for one price. So the pricing here is actually pretty unbelievable. They do have a lot of different things that you can do for free, but the monthly fee here is only $39. That is probably the cheapest price you will find for a piece of software with this power. Now here's what the main dashboard looks like for Profit Guru. And this is one of the things that really drew me to this software. A lot of softwares out there are not user friendly at all. They're quite intimidating actually. And this one, the dashboard is just so clean and put together and very user friendly. So right here I can see my products, brands, and suppliers, and this is where I'm doing product research. Over here, same tabs, products, brands, suppliers. Now depending on which selling model I'm doing, that'll determine on if I'm using this tab, this, or this to do my research. Down here you can see that we also have an FBA calculator, a sales estimator, and this one here, bulk analysis tools, is really cool for people wanting to do wholesale. So let's start by doing the research. If you are wanting to stick with doing like online arbitrage and find some really profitable items on Amazon, then you would use this. You would also use this if you're wanting to do a private label. So you're going to be able to find a ton of products here that have huge potential for you to do a private label model with. So let's look at it. I can hit this little sandwich over here to close it down so I have a little more room to work with. You're really gonna want some advanced filters here to put in. Now up at the top, how I'm gonna filter this really depends on which model I'm going with. So for example, let me do it for the private label. If I was doing research right now to find profitable items, I would not be putting in these same filters. I would be putting in filters that are actually very different. So for this example, these filters are going to be to find profitable products that have a lot of potential for private label. If I had a specific category in mind, I could choose that here. Or if I'm just really open to find really products across categories, I could just leave that blank. Now some of the more important filters would definitely be down here at the weight. You know that things that are lighter ship for a lot cheaper. So I'm going to say that I want this to be less than, let's do two and a half pounds. Now for the price. You don't wanna be looking at items that are selling for two, three, four dollars because there's no margin there to make a profit. 
So I'm going to make sure here that all of the products that I'm seeing have at least a $15 tag on them. Now for number of reviews, this is also important to filter when you're doing private label research. I don't want to pick something that has a ton of reviews already because customers are already invested in that brand. So I'm going to want to find an item that has no more than 50 reviews so I know I can compete against them. The listing quality score is also going to be huge. Now, I don't want to compete with listings that are high because those are ones, they're already good. People are already drawn to them. So if they're a 10, 9, 8, those are great listings. I only want to see listings that go up to maybe a 5 because this is going to show me where there's room for improvement. Now that I have the main criteria out of the way for what I'm looking for with my private label opportunity, I'll hit the search. And now you can see a list here. Let's scroll down to the bottom of over 410,000 items that have great potential for private label. Now you'll just make a cup of coffee and you will look at the numbers. So you can quickly see the price that it's selling for, the fees that Amazon will take, its sales rank, this is great to see, how many estimated sales it's getting, number of sellers, and who those sellers are. So right here, you get so much information. I can see my ASIN, my category, what the brand is, how many reviews they have, and if I wanted to go into the Amazon listing, I would just click right here. I can also pull up some historical data. So here I'll see my charts that show me what the shipping is at and the sellers. So I can really see if this is an item that maybe is seasonal. So if it's selling really well, but only during like a certain period of time, maybe November and December, well, that would tell me that this is a seasonal item. So you're going to want to avoid seasonal items. I won't dig too much deeper in, but I think you get the idea of how powerful this can be to really look at listings and see where is there room for improvement. Let's go back to the dashboard and now I will show you the brands. So if you want to do more of a wholesale model and you're looking for really great brands to work with, then you're going to come here. You're going to want to find brands that have a lot of products already selling on Amazon. So I'll go advanced filters. If I have a category in mind that I want to sell in, I could choose that here. So maybe I'm looking for brands in home and kitchen. Number of products, I want to make sure that it has a good sales volume. So we'll put in 200. Again, with the weight, I don't want to be shipping things that are too heavy. This is also an important filter over here. So you're not going to want to compete with Amazon very much. So for this, you can actually filter out the percentage of listings that Amazon.com is on. So I don't want to see anything that has more than 40% of Amazon on them. And then for average number of sellers, I'm probably going to want to keep that lower so there's less competition. So I'll put in maybe four. Let's search. So now I get a huge list of different brands that already have really great products selling on Amazon. So I could look through these brands and if I want to look and see what their items are, I would just click this row. This brand has 90 products selling. And then I can see that it's a lot of different knobs and got some trampoline springs. So it's really cool how you can filter and try to search for these brands that you might want to work with. Then over here on the side, you can see the estimated monthly sales they're getting and the sellers who are already selling these brands. Now, something you're going to want to avoid, just like you don't want to compete against Amazon, you also don't want to compete against the brand themselves. So over here on sellers, it's important to make sure that you don't see the actual brand name. So one, two, three trim. If I saw that over here as a seller, then I would avoid that brand. And again, I have 22,000 brands that I can look through. Now, if I wanted to reach out to that brand to try to find a wholesaler so that I could get the products for a bottom dollar price, I would just find a brand that has products that I'm interested in. So once I find a brand that has a lot of products that I'm interested in selling, I'll click on the brand's name. 
this is going to pull up all of the different suppliers that I can contact to try to get these items as cheap as possible. And then if I scroll down a bit, I can also see those brand statistics as well as my chart. Now to the suppliers. I would pick my category. And then maybe I'm trying to find suppliers that are close to me so I know I can get the stuff as quick as possible. So I'll choose my state and run the search. Then I can see my list of suppliers here. There are literally thousands and thousands of suppliers. So I would go through and once I found suppliers that I think has a lot of items that I want to be selling, I would reach out to them and try to get a product sheet. So they would send me a sheet that has all of their inventory. Now it would take hours upon hours to manually take that product sheet and to try to run the ASINs into Amazon myself. But that's what this bulk analysis tool is going to do for you. So once you find the supplier and they send you that sheet, you're going to input the sheet here for your suppliers. And that sheet again is going to have thousands of items on it. And then this bulk analysis tool will scan them all for you and show you exactly which ones are profitable and to buy from them. And then the other two features of this piece of software, you can pull an ASIN off of Amazon and it's going to give you all of the fees broken down. It's also going to tell you the number of sellers, the sales rank, the revenue you can make per seller. It's just a very powerful tool and you're always going to want to use a sales estimator before you end up buying a product to make sure that it's actually something that's going to give you some profit back after fees. So I know that I've been spending a ton of time on this piece of software and just going in between all of the different models. Uh, one day I'll use it to do some product research for some arbitrage, then I'll change my filters the next day and I'll look for some private label opportunities. I'm also trying to build my wholesale store going, so I am super using this a lot to try to find good brands and suppliers to work with. So as you can see, this is a very powerful software. And if you guys end up trying it, let me know in the comments down below what you think. So this week, I have literally felt like that meme where it says the internet's open and there are 50 tabs going at once. Um, I think my biggest downfall is the fact that my brain, I have a little bit of OCD and a little bit of ADHD. So right now with me trying to just research all of these different e-commerce models, I am like all over the place. I'll start something, but then I'll remember something and get excited about it and then I'll jump to that. So I've been doing a lot of jumping around this week. Uh, I did come up with my own design for my own brand registry. As you guys know from my past videos, I'm trying to switch models and go over to like a wholesale bundle. So I'm gonna need my own design to be brand registered. I did get one from someone off of Fiverr, but I decided to end up making my own. So I'm, I'm gonna use that one because since I made it, I'm more connected to it. The other things I've been doing, I still have that stranded inventory box. So I reached out to Amazon and they got back to me really fast and said that, even though it's been uh, over a month, I have to still give it a couple of more weeks. So I can't go in to reconcile those over 100 units lost until January 15th. So on January 15th, hopefully uh, the reconcile process will go smoothly and I won't just be out hundreds of dollars on that box. Next, what I've been doing is I've recently partnered with another channel. So I'm also busy trying to research and make content for that channel and this channel at the same time. I'm really loving doing this for you guys. So that's something that is also driving me and giving me motivation to keep going. So not just am I trying to make money for myself, but I'm trying to learn how to make money online so that I can share it with you guys. This channel truly combines my two passions of teaching and making money online. So having this platform of you all just means so much to me. So make sure that you subscribe to this channel because I will be putting out at least two working on three videos a week. So that is my goal. I also found a little bit of online arbitrage that I sourced the past couple of days, not a lot though. I'm finding that because I jumped in in December in quarter four, a lot of the websites were having deals, like they were running 25% off the whole site. So it was really easy to find things that made a good profit margin. But now that stores aren't running those discounts anymore online, I'm not finding objects that are making the margins like the first few boxes that I sent in. 
So this is really making me realize that I need to not have such high standards when it comes to arbitrage because truly the margins are a lot lower. During the holidays, I was getting like 80 to 100% return and now I'm not seeing much that is over like 40 to 50%. Uh, most of the stuff is between 20 and 30. So I've been really having to like adjust my mind to the fact that arbitrage really comes down to your buying power. So if you want to, if you really are serious about wanting to make like thousands of dollars, if you want to make $20,000 a month, you're probably going to have to buy $30,000 in stuff to sell to get that $20,000 profit. So that's just how it goes with the arbitrage model. The profits are so low that if you want to make this much, you're, you're going to be spending this much. I've also been spending a lot of time because I want to spend so much time here with you guys and sharing different stuff with you. I spent a lot of time researching, doing my own print on demand store. So I'm setting up some platforms with my print on demand right now and coming up with designs. So in the future, be looking for those videos. If you enjoy content like this on selling on Amazon and e-commerce in general, how to make money online, then please hit that subscribe button because I'll be coming out with videos each and every week for you guys.